Hey there, it's Duke Ferguson, owner, CEO, and master trainer of Unleashed Potential Canine and creator of Dog Training Genesis. In this video, I want to do a quick little talk about prong collars or pinch collars or whatever you want to call them. Very controversial tool in the market. Now, I'll be honest with you, if you look at this thing, it looks like a medieval torture device. I agree 100% on that. The first time I ever saw one, I was like, whoa, I'm not going to put that on my dog. But with education, some problems I had, I actually did use it, and I found phenomenal results. But there are pros and cons to the tool. And actually, you know what? There's pros and cons to all tools that you use. Okay? Now, keep in mind one thing. A tool is just a tool. It's not a method. So the application of the tool is very important. Okay? The downfall of the pinch collar or prong collar is that you just go to a store, you buy one, you don't know how to fit it, you don't know how to apply it to the dog or teach the dog how to learn, how to respond to it, and you can create some problems. Also, if you just leave it on the dog 24 hours a day all the time, it can cause pressure in a pressure source, which really is your responsibility on the owner's behalf. Now, in saying that, the pros is, in a proper system, if you teach the dog how to respond to it, what does it mean? What does the pressure mean? And you also have a proper fit, you can produce amazing results. And I'm talking results that you can actually have your dog walking happily, not just like scared and torturous, but happily on a loose leash within five minutes to one lesson. And that's really the honest truth. Um, if you use it right. If you don't, they're not good tools. So get educated. Here's a little video of just a little bit before and after because talk is cheap. And I'd like to show you what we can actually achieve. So in this first clip, it's just going to show you before we've done any pinch collar work or any training just to show you how he pulls and he's got really no structure on his walk. So, I mean, it's quite obvious here that you can see that there's no attention on the handler whatsoever. He's just going where he wants to go, doing what he wants to do, sniffing to the ground. You know, walking like this can be quite stressful. Um, actually, it doesn't burn very much energy off on the dog. builds up a lot of tension in their neck. And it's quite stressful on the handler, shoulders, back. And it can be a potential danger or hazard, especially in the wintertime or if somebody's smaller. So now we're going to show you a clip with Jiffy on the pinch collar. Same day, okay? You're going to see a huge difference. Now, I will tell you in advance, this dog has ignition already built. So he's hungry, he's food motivated and willing to work. We add that to our programs. So he's learning to not pull, and it's good for him not to pull. We start with non-distractions, then we go to distractions. All right, Mr. Jiffy's on a pinch collar. This looks like a... Pretty happy dog to me in a pinch collar. Yeah. You speed up, slow down, see how loose the leash is. Now because of Jiffy's ignition, I will tell you that just by putting the pinch collar on him and him feeling that pressure, um, he might have got a little bit of uh, tension on the leash a couple of times. He's extremely tuned in. Really, there was no corrections, hardly at all. He's very in tune. And this is actually what happens when you have a high level of ignition, meaning the dog has been prepped with positive reinforcement, understanding where to go, so that when he feels that pinch at all, he just drives right into the side, into the leg, and starts paying attention. Uh, it, some dogs, it's just that simple. Not all of them, but he's making it look actually really, really good. Notice how happy he is. There's no change in demeanor. This dog will pull your guts out. Backwards. And there's absolutely no corrections or pressure there at all. And he's happy. Gotta love to see that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we got a little bit of obedience, the dog's doing great. We're gonna take this outside and add some distractions. Lots of scent, outside air, and in the background there's a lot of dogs barking. Hey. 
So as you can clearly see here, Jiffy's doing phenomenal even outside in the distractions. It's, it's his very first time. You can achieve this. Anybody can achieve it if you use the tools properly. The whole key is this. Get your dog to pay attention. All right? Build ignition. If you have the right amount of motivation, which positive reinforcement, foods, toys, affection is a motivator, so is the pinch collar as a motivator. Leash basically is guidance. But if you can get your dog to pay attention to you and not pull, then it gets rid of leash reactivity, builds a lot of attention, and a better relationship for both. To learn more on how to find an Unleashed Potential Trainer in your area, or to learn more on how you can access Dog Training Genesis, check out our website, unleashedpotential.ca. Now to make this convenient for you, I will add all of the links that you need below in the description box, so you can go there and go to whatever link you want to for your convenience. So thank you for watching, Now make sure you subscribe if you want to see more great training videos.